hello friends welcome back to my youtube channel so today i'm going to show you a very easy hyper realistic drawing which is of a banana and it doesn't require much explanation we all know the shape still you can observe how i'm making the shape by taking some measurements so that the actual thing and the reflection could look same there is not much to discuss in this you can just observe how i'm doing and that will be enough so just enjoy the drawing and i'll speak whenever there is a necessary point So the portion which I am drawing right now is the other side of the banana which will actually act as a very key point in creating that 3D look like it's a 3D object. So that portion which I am doing right now is basically the portion where the light hasn't reached much. So that portion will be of a darker shade so I used ochre yellow and see as soon as I am uh, uh, you know just creating a gradient out there it's creating that bifurcation between the two sides of the banana same thing we are going to do in the bottom portion as well but always remember showing a dark nature of yellow is very tough the blending becomes very tough so in the in some of the colors uh, actually uh, you know what I would like to say is that in some of the devices the color might appear different in reality when I'm looking at the actual drawing I can see a variation of that yellow that yellowish tint is there at the bottom like even when I'm using ochre yellow out here still I'm adding some shades or some layers of yellow so that that yellowish tint is there so that it looks like it's a shadow on a black mirror and it has almost the same color but of a darker or a gloomy nature so in some of the devices like in phones the color is appearing little bit brownish or somewhat different of a color but in reality if you mix these colors in a proper proportions like uh, yellow white ochre yellow dark brown then that yellowish tint will be there and it will look like a shadow or a reflection uh, sorry not a shadow a reflection so I'm doing the black out here which you have already seen in lot of the tutorials I'm going to use my Stadler 8B extra dark pencil to do some of the detailing
so after adding black and dark brown I'm just adding little bit of fine detailing using my white pen The bottom portion will be of darker nature so that brownish tint is bound to go there okay so ultimately when the finished product is there see there are some uh, mixing which I'm doing with hand so that it looks like a blended effect so that that gradient is there that blended effect should be there some of the edges won't appear so sharp that's why i'm blending out some of the edges in the reflection section and see how that black at the bottom has a angle so friends this was the end of the tutorial i'm just going to make the shadow little bit darker apart from that there is not much to say it was very easy i suppose so friends if you like this tutorial please this Please give this tutorial a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell notification because I upload new videos every week. Share it with your friends so that they can enjoy the tutorial as well. So I'll see you in the next tutorial. Until next time, goodbye.